All right, in this little video, we're going to take um, our map and learn how to do a kind of a, a, a more useful neat line and, and background behind a, our map, our main map body. I've got my data frame. I'm switched to the layout view here. And <clears throat> what people tend to do for their neat line is to take this data frame and pull it out to the edge of the piece of paper. I can see the printer margins on there. I don't want to go past those. And have something that looks like this, that then they add their legend and, and title and everything else within. Uh, th this is a little bit limiting and it's going to cause some problems for some of your maps. So I've got a, a, a way of using ArcMap that I like better. And that's to decide where I want my main body on the page. And have the data frame just wrap around that. Do some little adjustments here. Leave room for my title up here and legend and other information on here. I feel like I could probably fill that in a little bit better. Okay, and then I want to get rid of this out, this line around the data frame. So I'm going to activate it and right click it to get to the properties menu. And I'm going to switch this board and turn it off. Let's say okay. And so I just get my main body and around the data frame I don't have any line. I'm going to add a separate boundary around here that I'm going to use as a neat line. I'm going to go into the drawing tools down here. If you don't have that, uh, you want to right click and select draw. Add that toolbar. And I'm going to add a, a rectangle here. I'm going to fill in my page with this rectangle. Alright, isn't that wonderful? Um, right click and let's uh, send that to the back and then I want to change uh, something besides that pukey yellow here so I'm going to right click and go to properties for that rectangle and here's where there's some stuff that's hidden within arc so I've got a property with windows here it looks like I've just got a couple colors that I could choose change the outline and there's actually a lot more in here than than uh, meets the eye so I'm going to change the symbol here and <clears throat> I've got some options to do some uh, some interesting things. So if I scroll down, uh, let's see, let's do a, a linear gradient in the background. Um, so I could say, okay, let's go back and quickly look at this, apply. And I get a little bit of a, a linear gra gradient in the background. It makes my map look a little bit more sophisticated. don't really like that yellow, though. So I'm going to go back into change symbol here, edit symbol. Uh, and now I can change the colors that um, are in that gradient. So I've got some default choices here. Um, some of these might be nice. Let's see if there's anything of the defaults that I want to use. Let's see what this blue looks like in the background. Uh, I'm gonna. It's only got. It's a little. A little bit. Um, it's not as smooth as I like here. So I'm gonna change the intervals here to 255 and make that a little smoother. Uh, and let's say I think that's a little bit darker than I want it to be. I'm going to go back over here to the style thing and I'm going to right click that and again there's some hidden uh, options here. Go to properties and I can change these colors. I say alright I don't want that quite uh, as dark. Uh, I want to use even lighter so let's go pretty light um, and let's say I don't that any of these default colors I don't like. I'm going to go to more colors here and I can change this. There's a lot of fine control over that blue. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Uh, say okay, say okay, okay again. And there I've got um, a, a light blue, almost sky blue background. Um, not great, but better. Now, that's how you change the background. We could get uh, really crazy with this. Um, there's other options in here. I could choose if I, if I really want my map to stand out. This is my favorite. Let's do my sort of rainbow gradient here. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, all right. Now that is an attention grabber. That is a wonderful map. Let's see if you can do better.